Hello, First Covenant Church. I'm Tom Christie, the church chairman. And I'm Doug McHenry. I'm the lead pastor here. And we're here in the building, the church yes, building. Yes, we are in the, this north hallway, uh, just on the north side of the sanctuary. One of my favorite spaces in the church, actually, is back here. There's a couch where and some tables where chairs where the prayer team meets with people after services when they want prayer. So, okay, we're here. And and hopefully, eventually, a lot of other people get to be here too. Yes, so. yes. Hopefully, very very soon. Tell us some good news today. Uh, well, first of all, I just want to say thanks to the church. Um, so much encouragement and, and prayers are coming our way. Uh, we're praying for you as well. Um, and I've just been so impressed with people's attitudes through all this. I know it's not easy, um, but uh, our attitude during this really is a reflection of our faith in Christ. And so I'm so thankful for your attitudes, your prayers, your encouragement. And we have some good news as well. We want to thank you for the good news around our giving. Oh, yes. G giving from uh, First Covenant Church has been excellent. Many churches have really, uh, really been hampered during this time of a lockdown when they can't meet together and, and offerings have really fallen. But in First Covenant Church, we're actually ahead of where we were last year. So people are are really keeping up with their, their support of the body of Christ. And it's very, uh, uh, I'm very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. So. You don't need that stress as well as everything else right, going right. on. So we're grateful. It's great. In fact, our outreach board has been able to help uh, St. John's Missionary Baptist with their uh, food purchases for their food program, which has really expanded during yes. lockdown. Yeah, yeah, that's been wonderful okay. to be able to be part of that. Right, and yeah. thank you, outreach board, for taking that on and uh, making that contribution. Mm -hmm. um, also, we have the 6K uh, walk or run for water. Yep, World Vision. Yep, and 38 people participated. There's some sponsorships as well. And uh, $2,800 raised, which means 50 people mm -hmm. approximately will receive clean water. So that's wonderful, really exciting. Um, also, right now, media. Right now, media. Right now the church has uh, uh, taken on a subscription to Right Now Media, which mm -hmm. is a very good network of programs for Bible studies. You can use these in your life, some of these in your yeah. life group. Yeah, speakers, seminars, the whole thing. Kids, Absolutely. lots of kids, kids stuff. Lots of kids stuff. I watched God Rocks cartoon with my grandkids. Very engaging. Watch three of them. Three yeah. of them? Yes. Yeah, so awesome. That's a, now, awesome. let's talk about our main reason for being here, regathering. Yes, we are regathering. We're, we're not saying we're reopening because the church doesn't close. The body of Christ, we're scattered around Salina or wherever we might be, and we're still active doing things as a church. But we're regathering physically on June 7th. June, June 7th. 7th is we're the really day excited about that. When the body comes back to the building. Yes. Okay. We're really excited about that to see each other. We want to start out, first of all, with the right attitude. Yeah. In this time of regathering, it's going to be different than it was before. We want to have the right attitude as we go forward. From Colossians 3.12, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Uh, it goes on to say, bear with one another, love each mm -hmm. other. And those are the attitudes we want to have before we come to the building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it's going to feel a little bit different for a season. Hopefully not too long of a season. Hopefully you know, just a few weeks or so, but it's going to feel a little bit different. Okay. Right? Right. So, and one of the... How are we going to do it? Well, one of the main things that's going to feel a little bit different is we're going to be wearing masks or asking people to wear a mask. Okay. Tom, Tom's got a, a wonderful mask here. It's yeah. color coordinated. Bring your mask. Yeah, and I'm going to be wearing a mask as well. I'll have a mask on in the hallways of the parking lot. The only time I won't have one on is when I'm I'm preaching, because obviously the people we're going to be doing online as well. So it they... matches my shirt. Yeah. Okay. We're going to come in through the lobby. We're not going to dwell in the lobby. We'll come in quickly. When we get into the sanctuary, we'll be distance. We'll be socially distanced. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we won't be able to hold as many people. We have to spread out in there. Yeah. When we leave, we have to go out directly. Our visiting with people will have to be outside or yeah, in the park. Because we're going to want to do that probably, right? There's people, I'm outside about seeing a lot of people. So Absolutely. we'll do that in a parking lot. And if we hit a point where we reach capacity, where we can do it safely in here, we'll have overflow in the, in the life center. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, so service. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Service times. Service times. They are going to be different during this season. Eight o'clock, 9.30, 11. The reason for that is we're going to sanitize 
the sanctuary and the areas where we congregate or where we walk through and the bathrooms during that time. So, so we need some extra time between those meetings to get everybody out, to sanitize, sanitize, get ready for the next meeting. To That's right. Out. That's exactly right. So it's going to feel different, but we, we hope you can, if you feel comfortable to come. Now, if you're in an at-risk uh, demographic, don't feel any pressure to come. We're still going to be online. You, no one should feel pressured to, to be here. Some people definitely are not going to feel safe. They're not going to feel comfortable coming. Yeah. Be online. In fact, some people in a higher risk group shouldn't come when we reopen on, when we re regather on June 7th. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. We're going to be, we'll, yeah. we'll be together in spirit. Yes. Uh, that, that's and fine. It's just for a season. Right. And then, uh, but again, it's going to feel different, but I hope you will come if you feel comfortable. Uh, because really, just being together physically, even if we have masks and it feels different, we can't gather in the hallways, it's still important Absolutely. to encourage each other. Absolutely. And I so look forward to I am excited about together. seeing people again. Okay. Oh, and then there'll be more details coming out in the email or letter very soon. And, we'll and it, could it could we'll change. We'll have another communication about this yeah. as well. Yeah. Let me close for us in prayer. Yeah. Okay. Doug, I'm thinking too about people, uh, congregations all over the world uh, where the church never can meet. Mm -hmm. they, they can't meet like we do. Uh, and not in coronavirus times, but never. Yeah. They can't do that. We take it so for granted. Uh, we've been fasting for meeting together. Now we get to come back together June 7th, and I'm, and I'm so looking forward yeah, to it. I'm hungry for that. Even yeah, with the yeah. restrictions, yeah. I, I look forward to it. Yeah. Let's pray. Father God, thanks, uh, thanks for your body. We pray that in the time that we're not together, that you would direct each one of us, uh, direct your believers in, uh, in, in the things they do in your kingdom. Uh, may your kingdom come uh, in our community. We pray your blessing on, on, on our, our folks and their families. And we pray that you would uh, be preparing us for the time when we can come back together. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.